Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video guys, I'm gonna show you how the heck you can take your next trip for absolutely free. And I know that sounds crazy. You're like, how, how are you gonna get your free, free plane ticket, a free place to stay? How is this gonna happen? But guess what guys, I started traveling in my 20s, I'm now in my 30s, and uh, I just figured out ways to uh, get things for free. And I'm not the only one, there's a whole community on YouTube, in the blog world, of people that are traveling for free, getting things for free. And don't worry, it's not like soul crushing ways for you to get your travel for free, it's actually gonna be pretty, pretty fun. So let's talk about it. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna go through my 10 step budgeting template. So I'm gonna talk about the 10 things you need when um, booking your trip. I'll link that in the description if you wanna download that template. But I use this template in every trip because it helps me to not forget to budget something. And then all of a sudden my trip is way more money. But in this video, we're just gonna use it as a guide to so I can show you how you can get each of these things for free. Okay guys, the flight. How do you get a flight for free? Let me tell you, I've gotten many, many, many flights for free. So here's one way. I got a free flight from my mom because she built, built up some points on her credit card, built some flights, never used it. And she just gave it, she was like, hey, do you want a $200 American Express gift card? I'm not using it, do you want it? She gave it to me. Do you have any family members that are sitting on their miles? I read somewhere that there's so many people that are building up airline miles and not even using it. Trust me, you have someone in your life that's sitting on the airline miles and not using it. Whether it's your parents, your aunties, your grandparents, your sister, your brother, someone in your life has airline miles that they're sitting on. And if you ask them very nicely, they'll give it to you. The next way I got a free flight was my free flight to Puerto Rico. I got that free flight because I built up a ton of miles with Delta, which is an airline alliance. Actually, it's called Sky Miles. I can't remember what it's called, but, but it's a, a large airline alliance. So I actually didn't only fly with Delta. I flew with China Eastern Air, Air France. I think it's Air France, Korean Air. So basically there was a ton of different flights that I took, but it's all under the same umbrella. And I built up those miles and I was able to get a free flight to Puerto Rico. The next way to get a free flight is you can travel hack, use your credit card, build those miles yourself. There's just so many clever ways of building miles on your credit card, but just make sure you just don't go into debt. To be completely honest, I'm not really good with credit. I try to pay everything in cash. All my travel, I try to pay with cash because uh, that could be like a downward spiral situation where you're just like, oh, I put it on my credit card, pay it back later, and then you end up never paying it back or you do the minimum payments per month. That's just my situation of why I don't use credit cards um, for travel hacking to get free flights because sometimes I feel like the credit card companies are very smart and they kind of set you up in a way for you to end up not using your miles or for you to end up going in debt. But of course, this is not the situation for everyone. There's a ton of people here traveling for absolutely free, not only flights, but getting free accommodation, free hotels, free nights at the Marriott, because they are travel hacking with their credit cards. But just make sure you're smart about it. The next way for you to get a free flight is to let some company pay for it for you. So for example, I got a free flight when I was going to Japan. The, um, the company paid for my flight to Japan and coming home from Japan because that was just in my contract. I agreed to work in Japan and in the contract, they agreed to pay for my flight. And what was so cool about that was that I was able to book my flight back home to America. So what I did, I was really clever with it. I booked a flight with a 24 hour layover in Korea. So I got to spend the day in Korea. All right guys, so the very last way to get a free flight and let's keep it simple. Ask people in your life to help you pay for your flight. So say you need $300 for a flight to Guatemala. Is it your birthday coming up? Christmas, when is Christmas? Um, did you graduate? What situation is happening where people can gift you some money towards your flight to Guatemala? And in addition to that, let's keep it very old school. What can you do to get some money for your flight to Guatemala? Can you clean somebody's house? Can you babysit? Can you do someone's website? Whatever skill you have, offer it up to help you pay for that plane ticket. So guys, have you gotten a free plane ticket? Make sure you tell us in the description how you went about doing that because I know there's so many ways of doing this. 
So the next big expense is finding somewhere to stay. So I have a handful of things you could do to get free accommodation and it's so cool. So the first one is house sitting. So basically when people are on vacation or just away from the house, you go to their house, you help them keep everything clean, um, take care of the animals, just whatever they need, to, need you to do when they're away, you're taking care of their house. So the website you can use for this is trustedhousesitters.com. I'll link that website in the description, but also I'll link a lady. She talks all about this. So her whole YouTube channel is about this. I'll link her as well if you want to get started on this journey because there are travelers that literally do not pay for accommodation. They house it and they were able to build up their profile to become more trustworthy and for a lot more people to book them. The next way to get free accommodation is couch surfing. I've never done couch surfing before and I kind of want to do it, but I'm a little unsure. But couch surfing is exactly what it sounds like. People are willing to offer travelers a couch to sleep on for absolutely free. So I know it sounds really, really creepy. Like some man is offering you a couch in his house, but it's like a legit community with like thousands and thousands of members. People are verified. And it's really just people, think about it, it's just really people wanting to open their home up to travelers and they get to meet new people from all over the world. It's really not as creepy as it sounds, it's just a way of connecting with other people. The next way to get free accommodation is through Workaway. So Workaway is basically a website where people from all over the world post jobs and travelers can apply for the jobs and basically they get a free place to stay because they're working. Now, the job could be anything from farm work, babysitting, teaching English, anything from construction, working at a hostel. There's so many different jobs you can do. I advise you to go on the website and just sit down and look for it. You select the country you wanna to go to and there's a ton of jobs that show up. But yes, there's so many different types of jobs. If you like working with kids, if you like teaching, there's even some jobs where you can work in a school. But I just wanna make it clear, you're working and you're getting free accommodations and that some of them also offer meals. The next way you can get free accommodations is by being a au pair. Au pair. I literally told myself I wouldn't say it wrong and I'm pretty sure I said it wrong. But basically, if you haven't heard about it before, it's you're pretty much the nanny and you're teaching the kid whatever language the parent wants you to teach them. So for example, I could go to say Paris, live with the host family and teach their kid English. So these au pair jobs are usually in Europe, but you can find them all over the world, but they're like all over Europe. And what's included is you're living with the host family and they are providing you with meals as well. The next way to get free accommodations is to teach abroad. So when I taught abroad in Japan, my accommodations wasn't free, but I do know a lot of teachers that um, their housing was free. Actually, most of the teaching jobs I see online, the accommodations are free, but mine happened to be $120 a month. That's just what I had to pay for my apartment, which I thought was pretty good for a two bedroom apartment. When I wanted to teach abroad again, I used to use this guy's website dave's esl cafe there's just he he just um shows a list of teaching jobs from all over the world or you can use teachaway.com for those teaching jobs i'll link both of those in the description next way to get free accommodation is of course volunteering offer up your service and they'll offer up you somewhere to stay and again what's cool about this type of accommodation is that they usually provide you with meals so you can volunteer doing so many different things. Uh, teaching English is like the first one that I can think of, but doing construction, helping build homes, doing farm work, working with animals, it's just endless. I just suggest that you stay away from the orphanage volunteering programs just because I feel like it's unethical. That's just my opinion. And I don't think it's gonna make you feel good after you're done with it. So wherever you decide to volunteer, just make sure it's actually benefiting the institution. The next way you can get free accommodation is working at a hostel. This is so common. Maybe I should have said this one first, but you can offer your services to a hostel and they'll give you a free bed. Most people I see doing this job, their job, their job would include cleaning, checking in the guest, um, doing laundry, just 
doing like physical work in exchange for a free bed. Now, I was too lazy to do this when I first started traveling, but it is a really great idea and it's a great way to meet new people. And it just sounds overall fun to hang out with travelers all day. And again, it's free. Now, the last way you can get free accommodation, and this was totally a winner for me, was to tell everyone you know where you're going and ask them if they know anyone where you're going. For example, when I took my three week trip, my first solo trip to Europe, I posted on Facebook, hey guys, I'm going to Europe. Um, does anyone, I didn't say it directly, but I, was, I basically said something along the lines of, I'm going to Europe, um, is anyone there right now? But really what I was trying to say is, I'm going to Europe, can I stay by you, right? And guess what, because of that post, I got somewhere to stay in London. I stayed in London for a week and a half at my friend's aunt's house. I got somewhere to stay in Belgium, which is so expensive. Uh, I stayed there for about three to four days and I got somewhere to stay in Amsterdam. How long did I stay there? Uh, maybe like five days or something. All from a Facebook post. And by the way, those countries are really, really expensive. So I don't even know how I was planning on finding accommodations in those expensive countries because I didn't really have money back then. All right, so let's move on to the next part of this whole trip planning situation, meals. Okay, so the way you can get free meals when traveling, it's gonna have a lot of what I just mentioned in accommodation. So to get free meals, you can stay at become an Upar. Like I said before, you're gonna get free meals there. Do a work away, do a volunteer program. Basically, you're exchanging your time for some food. So the next thing is uh, transportation. Stay somewhere where you can walk everywhere, okay? Stay somewhere where everything is around you and there's no need for you to take public transportation. There's no need for you to rent a car, take a train. Everything is walking at distance. Stay in a city where there's just everything around you and it's easy to get somewhere. So for example, Paris is like the perfect city. Paris, London. These big cities, it's just so walkable. It's easy for you to get everywhere. And there's just always something around you. If you're doing a work away, a house sitting, a upar situation, just keep this in mind when picking a host family. Just make sure you stay somewhere where every, everywhere is walkable from the grocery store to tourist attractions. The next thing is activities. Super duper easy, guys. Do not pay for anything. Do all of the free tourist acti activities. Better yet, guys, research those paid tourist activities. Go on the official website because there's always, okay, not always, there's usually a way to do it for free. Maybe the first month of the month, they have offer free admissions, or there's there's always some situation where you can get it for free. So if you do wanna do those pay, paid activities, go on the website, give them a call, figure out if there's a way that you can gain access for free. For example, in New York City, you can go to, I think it's the Met, you can go have get free admissions from like six to eight on the first Wednesday, some random thing like that. But if, if they have it in New York, I'm sure they have it all over the world. So I said this before earlier, but of, of course you can let your family members and friends gift this to you. Like they can gift you um, an admi admissions ticket to the Louvre, an admissions ticket to anywhere. They can pay for your activity. Just keep this in mind. Okay guys, let's talk about supplies, okay? So I know that us girls, uh, we always wanna get a new outfit, new clothes. Trust me, I know I'm going to Guatemala next month and I'm already thinking I wanna get some new pieces for to take some cute pictures. I already know this, I know where you're coming from. But in this case, if you wanna travel for free or keep costs really, really low, use what you have and borrow what you don't. If you need some travel supplies, don't buy it. There's someone in your life that has a luggage, that has packing cubes, a, a, a portable luggage scale. There's someone in your life that has all of that. Do not go ahead and buy it. And better yet, you probably don't even need it. A lot of the, a lot of the things that we feel like we need when traveling, we usually don't need it. So girls, this is the perfect time to raid your sister's closet get her cute little dresses and use that for your trip instead of going and buying a new clothes. All right, so the next things that you have to figure out how to get for free, 
I'm gonna lump these three together. I have them separately on the budgeting template, but I'm gonna lump this together because uh, they have all the same answer. And that is a COVID test to get into the country, visa, and vaccinations. So some countries require you to have a visa to get into. For example, China, you have to pay $125 for admissions into, I said admissions, but for entry into China, I would avoid countries where you need to pay to get in. The next thing is a vaccines. Some countries require you to take certain vaccines. Um, for example, the yellow fever. I had to take the yellow fever vaccine when I was going to Ghana. Avoid those countries where you have to take, where you have to take vaccines. And of course, the last thing is the COVID test to get into the country. Avoid countries where you have to take a COVID test to get in and save money. I just went to Mexico last month and I did not have to um, provide a COVID test to get into the country. So guys, that's how you get absolutely everything for free when traveling. You really just gotta sit down and think about it. Sit down and be clever and think about how you can get all these things for free, not spend a dime. And with everything I said, just remember to utilize the people in your life. You can always do things for them and get some cash to help you pay for your trip. I've done that for years, babysitting, cleaning my sister's house, tutoring my nieces. Like I've done it all. I've done it all for some cash. So guys, I really, really hope this video helped you. At the very least, I hope this video helped you to like cut some costs in your trip. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Of course, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.